Hello traders, this is Orlando for Tradingmo, and uh, today we're going to do a small recap on the non-farm payrolls uh, that went out this morning. But first, let me show you the setup of the um, of the trade that I shared with you on our Slack for his channel, and uh, this is a very uh, um, uh, textbook channel breakout uh, setup that I trade. Um, but actually, I took the trade at the breakout of the channel because I missed this move. Right, so uh, when uh, well, if you stick with me on the forex trading mode channel, you're going to learn how I trade the breakout channels from the top of the channel, right? And uh, this is a basic, uh, and as I told you, textbook uh, take off the 50% or half of the trade at the 50% retracement on, on the previous base, etc., and let the rest run for uh, even more gains. And but basically, here uh, we made a nice uh, let me see. I think it was about 220 yep uh yeah about 220 220 pips on a 90 pip risk so that's pretty nice right and uh, as you can see the uh the the gepi is breaking with that uh, very important level at the 144.78 and the 50 percent retracement of this move uh, of the entire move to the upside uh, which is also a very strong previous base right uh, and uh, that breakout is very very strong in my opinion but I do think that we're going to have a breakout that a retest and if we do get a retest setup I will be adding and uh, you guys will be uh, uh, well that's gonna be my trade idea maybe you can uh, 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 learn something from it right but yeah I'm, I'm wait I'm waiting for the uh, breakout for the break of that uh, level and a retest for a nice setup to add to this trade and uh, uh but that's gonna going to happen today i don't think it's going to happen at the at the beginning of next week so let's go through what happened today in the u.s right so you can see that the non-farm payroll change i mean was an awful awful big big fail on the non-farm payrolls right uh they were forecasting 180 jobs added to the economy last month and they only added 20 20 000 jobs and if you look at the uh the chart on the non-farm payrolls uh, let's just uh, look at this. Uh, I mean, uh, uh, the actual numbers versus the forecast has been uh, uh, quite different. I mean, it has differed from time to time. But this is a huge, huge, huge fail. We haven't seen a fail like this uh, since, uh, let's see, September 2017, right? So basically, when I saw this number, um, well, I, I, um, I assume that we are going to have a huge flush on the US dollar, but it didn't happen because if you look at this, the unemployment rate uh, was better than expected and has been dropping from month to month. So these are very mixed numbers that uh, are not going to give us a very clean uh, move on the US dollar. And if we go right here to the DXY chart, the DXY is the... Um, well, is the um, uh, dollar index chart, right? This is the daily chart. So we are going to move to a uh, an hourly chart so we can see what happened during the NTPs, right? And uh, you can see that this move to the downside, I mean, it wasn't very drastic. I mean, uh, it, it, it was as if uh, these numbers were already priced in, right? And uh, what, what really intrigues me here is that the 97.30 level right here, let me show you the level that I'm looking at. Let me just grab this tool. And uh, right, boom. The 97.30 level right here is holding beautifully, right? And uh, if this level holds, uh, I'm going to be looking to buy the US dollar, right? Um, and uh, even the even the even if uh, we had some very bad uh, NTPs, it really doesn't matter because what what this price action is showing me is that this level is holding. We have buyers on the US dollar regardless of what the the uh, number of jobs were added to the economy last month, and that we are going to be moving up and retesting that 9770 level, which is a very very important level on the US dollar. If we go back to the daily chart right uh you can see that we have tested this level over and over and over and we have been trading down i mean to the uh we have been trading or buyers have been trying to break with this level and haven't been able to for quite a while actually if we go back uh let me just zoom in this well i'm not gonna zoom in but this uh, but i mean we have been we have tested this level again and again and uh, right now we tested it and uh uh, let's go back to the hourly 
we tested it again and let me zoom out this so you can see can have a better look at price action okay so basically we have tested this level and we retraced then we had the non-farm payrolls that that made the us dollar drop but then again we have buyers coming in boom and this level held sellers tried again to break with this, with this level and it held buyers came in buyers came in and as you can see i mean buyers are winning this race right um we have very strong rejection at this level and um uh and which is a very high volume level right there's a lot of um of contracts being traded at this level and the uh, buyers are in control right now so what i'm expecting is uh for the next week or what i'm going to be doing for uh for next week is that uh i'm going to uh, watch and see if the us dollar or dxy tests this 97 70 level now my bias for next week is bullish on the US dollar I will be uh, writing an article on this and uh, I'll give you guys the link but yeah I'm, I'm very bullish on the US dollar right now um, because uh, uh, well we have this strong surge on the US dollar right and then we we uh, we we, uh, we we traded down in a in a flag pattern right just check this out so I, what I'm waiting right here is uh, for this flag to break right this is a very very uh very good looking bullish flag on the us dollar and uh, basically if we do the calculated uh, um calculated targets on this flag breakout uh well the basic calculated targets i'm going to do which are just to extrapolate the uh, pole of the flag to the breakout area right and uh you can see that we are definitely i mean uh, hypothet by hypothet hypothetically uh, going to be breaking with this level and going higher but again i mean i wouldn't buy the us dollar right now because um, i mean we do have some rejection of, of the well strong re rejection of the 97 30 level but we need to break with these uh, previous highs let me show you what i mean um with with uh, the previous highs right uh right now we have been trading down we have been made a a lower low a lower high a lower low lower high a lower low lower high lower low all right and we have been trading inside of this flag which has been respected where well, we ha we have faked out of the flag uh and uh, we have uh tried to uh, well we have faked out of the uh 97 30 level but we have strong rejection uh candles right here and what i'm looking for is basically a um where's the yes tool that i need um yeah i think that is this is it. what i need basically yeah this is it is a break of this previous structure and why is that i need a break from this previous structure to be to be really bullish the reason is that when we break with these highs we are going to be breaking with the uh this the down structure the lower lows and lower highs right that we have been making when we break with these highs we are going to be breaking with that uh, down structure and and we are going to be printing new highs which are which are going to be higher highs and we are going to be printing higher lows and that means that we are no longer in a down structure and that we have broken with the bullish flag and are ready for the next bullish move but again this is the dxy or the us dollar index i don't trade uh the us dollar index uh but i do look at it every day because uh dollar is king and uh i mean you have to be in synchrony with uh, what the dollar is doing and what the fed is doing if you are trading anything that has to do with the dollar and uh when i trade the dollar the past few months i've been trading gold right let me show you the gold chart uh, the dollar and gold are 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 negatively correlated, right? So when the dollar goes up, uh, gold goes down, right? So basically, uh, well, I traded this breakout of this structure for a nice gain, and I missed the move to the downside, right? But uh, it doesn't matter. I mean, when you miss a move, you're not going to be chasing the market. Uh, uh, well, if you miss it, you miss it. Another trade will come. 
and I've seen a lot of people that are shorting gold right now, right? Uh, and uh, I mean, uh, on the short time frame, this is a four hour chart, right? And uh, I'm going to stick to the four hour chart because uh, um, uh, I want you to see that this is a very strong level, right? We tested it here and again here, then we broke it and retested it as support before we move higher. So th this is a very strong level. The 120, uh, let me see, the 1298, 20 level, right? This is a very strong level, and uh, right now we have we are testing it. But nothing in this chart tells me that we are going to be bouncing from it, okay? And if we go back to the uh, uh, to the U.S. dollar chart, we are still in a in a in a down structure, and as you can see right now, we are retesting that ninety seven thirty level again. And this is why you I don't trade and we are breaking it with it right now with that strong level that i just pointed out, uh, that i just pointed out but uh, th this is the main reason that i look at the dollar right the dollar gives me bias okay i know that right now that uh, well it looks uh, the the setup on gold looks good but i'm not going to trade it until and if we break with this down structure okay i'm not going to trade the downside on gold if we don't break with the down this down structure on the us dollar right and uh that's not going to happen until next week and uh, let's have a look at the euro usd the euro us dollar i mean uh, uh it has been trading very very uh choppy for the past uh, uh few months and now we have broken with this very strong level or, or support zone and we are retesting it there's not too much to say uh, on this uh, currency pair um, but um, again I've seen a lot of people that are trading the downside on this retest and are going to be uh, and are going to get caught on a bear trap because they are not looking at the US dollar or what the US dollar is doing right now okay so uh, yeah I'm looking for the downside on the USD on the euro USD I'm sorry but uh, uh, I mean uh, yeah I need a push higher for a short position right now I'm going to say flat on this and uh, let's have a look at the US dollar Japanese yen and what to expect for next week uh, again uh, let me just um, rearrange this uh, I'm sorry guys um, okay so, all right so basically the uh, the, the uh, USD Japanese yen just broke uh, we broke with this uh, strong level of uh, resistance. We tested it, and we are moving up again. Again, I'm flat on the on this on this uh, on this uh, currency pair because it just looks uh, horrible. I'm sorry. About this. I don't know why I keep getting this Bitcoin. I don't know what I clicked in Google that I keep 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 getting that scam. But again, I mean, I'm going to say flat on it. Uh, but I what the the uh, the instrument I will be looking. Uh, for uh, next week to trade the US dollar is going to be gold and I'm going to be trying to short gold if and when we break to the upside on the US dollar but again I mean this is just a, a post non farm payroll report and uh, we'll be doing all of this analysis next week on our Slack community until then I'm Orlando for Tradimo goodbye guys